Paris, Riyadh would be a smart and visionary choice to host the World Expo in 2030, Jack Lang, president of the Arab World Institute and France's former Minister of Culture, has told Arab News on the sidelines of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's visit to Paris this week. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman met French President Emmanuel Macron at the Elysee Palace on Friday to discuss efforts to strengthen Saudi-French relations and cooperation. This is an extremely important visit, and I am delighted that His Highness, the Crown Prince, is present in Paris, Lang told Arab News at his eighth-floor office overlooking the Seine in Paris. It's a moment of friendship between France and Saudi Arabia, an opportunity for the French President and the most senior official in Saudi Arabia to discuss a whole range of current issues concerning international affairs. Lang, who has long been a vocal supporter of close cultural ties between France and Saudi Arabia, said staging the global event in the kingdom's extraordinary capital would have huge symbolic significance for the Arab region and would highlight recent Saudi achievements. Firstly, it is a great country, immense in its territory and population. It is a vibrant country with an active and creative youth, and women who are actively involved, said Lang. I would say that the investment projects envisioned by the Saudi authorities are promising, promising for cultural development, promising for industrial and economic development. And beyond the present, Arabia has a history, a civilization, and powerful moments in the life of the world. I believe that dedicating the most important country in Arabia to this World Expo would have great symbolic and emblematic significance. Choosing Riyadh as the location for an upcoming World Expo would be a smart and visionary choice, he added, calling the kingdom, a great country of the future. Quote. Saudi Arabia has officially submitted its comprehensive application to host the World Expo 2030 in Riyadh. The event would take place from October. 1, 2030 to March 31, 2031, under the theme, the era of change, together for a foresighted tomorrow. Quote. Following on the heels of Dubai 2020 and Osaka 2025, Riyadh proposes to host the 2030 Expo at a 6 million square meter site just north of the city. The Crown Prince will present the Saudi candidacy during the International Bureau of Exhibitions Beat meeting in Paris early next week. On Monday, Saudi Arabia is set to hold an official reception in the French capital for 179 countries as part of the Kingdom's bid to host the Expo. Voting will take place next November to choose the host city for this global event. A high-ranking Saudi delegation, members of the International Diplomatic Corps based in Paris, ambassadors of countries accredited to UNESCO, representatives of major participating entities and projects, representatives of member states to the B, and senior French officials in the government and private sectors will participate in the reception. Alongside Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Italy, and Ukraine have also applied to host the World Expo. Held since 1851, the Expos are the world's largest platform to showcase the latest achievements and technologies and celebrate the cultural values that unite humanity. Saudi Arabia submitted its bid for the World Expo 2030 in October last year, in a letter sent by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to the B. According to the Saudi press agency, the letter stated, We live in an era of change and we face an unprecedented need for humanity's collective action. Quote, if Saudi Arabia is selected to host the event, authorities plan to turn Riyadh and the rest of the country into a world-class venue for global culture, connectivity, and climate action. Lang is especially keen to see Riyadh succeed in its bid because he believes it could open the way for even greater cooperation with France, particularly on cultural and architectural projects. If Riyadh is chosen, our Saudi friends, who desire, as they know how, to create the most beautiful World Expo, will seek the collaboration of French creators, architects, and engineers who are especially talented and experienced in designing large-scale projects, he said, citing their work in Alula, Paris, and elsewhere.